everybody, Brian Tro coming to you from Mossy Creek Fly Fishing with your fly fishing forecast. The date today is Monday, October the 3rd. So, the remnants of Hurricane Ian have finally started to push out of the Commonwealth. Uh, the hurricane, or what's left of it, has been sitting here basically since Friday. So, we had some big, big soaking rains Friday night. It rained and the wind blew all day Saturday, Saturday night. Yesterday was drizzly and showery. And today we've just got some leftover wind, but the sun's starting to pop out. So we've been out and about trying to figure out, uh, you know, exactly how it affected different streams. And, and it's actually quite a hodgepodge. So I'm going to try and share that with you all this morning. Uh, but we'll definitely get a little better grip on, you know, the water levels um, as we go through this week. So we'll start with the easy stuff first. Uh, our larger streams, uh, the Shenandoah, the James, um, they're big. They got a lot of rain. They're big. Um, the smallmouth bite was still on uh, as of Friday morning before the storm came. The fish were still up in their summer lies. They were still eating bugs. Um, but now we have this big bump of rain. And then later on this week, we've got uh, looks to be like our first sub-freezing night on Saturday. So it'll be interesting to see how much longer the fish stick around. Uh, we hopefully will be able to get back out on the Shenandoah by Wednesday or Thursday as the water levels drop. Uh, it doesn't look like too much rain coming this week. So more on that once we get out there and put eyes on the water to see if we can squeeze out a few more good weeks of, uh, of bass fishing um, before they go in winter. All right, uh, moving on, it is October. It is the first Monday in October, which means the Department of Game is gonna be out stocking trout. So um, ordinarily this time of year, if we're really dry, they will focus on lakes um, because they, they don't want to throw those fish into spots that just don't have enough habitat or, or water flow. Um, so the good news is with all the rain we just got, hopefully they'll be um, spreading these fish out and getting out there and opening up some of your favorite delayed harvest streams. So tune in to the DWR's website. They have their daily stocking schedule that they'll post each day. Um, and we'll be updating you as well. But that is now upon us. Uh, so for those of you that have expired uh, trout stamps, um, make sure you go online and purchase those. Remember, even if you're not keeping fish, if you go to a delayed harvest stream and want to fly fish and catch and release, you still have to have your trout stamp. So uh, make, sure you've, make sure you've got that updated. Uh, on to the mountain streams. So the mountain streams are, are where we uh, were trying to focus this morning. Uh, we had some folks go out and take a look uh, the dry river we posted a few images uh, and some videos to let everybody know how good the water looks so it looks really really good um, not too many leaves jamming up yet um, a lot of people get concerned this time of year about uh, wanting, wanting to make sure they don't interfere with the spawn which is important um, but we're good to go like the first week in october the second week in october um, usually a green light um, it's a big state there's a lot of differences in our streams, um, so we'll kind of drill down and get a little more granular uh, on next week's report um, as to exactly when these fish are going to start to link up and when you kind of need to get out and stop waiting and then stop fishing for these, for these fish. But as of right now, they got a very, very much needed shot of rain across pretty much the entire state. That will help them move upstream and downstream, get out of those community pools, um, find a mate, find good spawning habitat. Um, it get, provide cover for their nests. Uh, that rain was critical and, um, and, it, and it's going to allow them to eat really, really well uh, for the next couple of weeks leading up to the spawn. So that's what you all need to do. That's your homework. Get out there and have fun. Enjoy some good brook trout fishing. It's fall. The brook trout colors are going to be amazing. The fall colors in the mountains are going to start to become amazing. Um, and we got a good, much needed shot of water. Uh, as far as flies go, uh, they're still not going to be too terribly picky. It's that time of year where they've just got to put on calories. The hens are going to start producing eggs, so they've got more demand on their bodies. Um, so, you know, take some nymphs with you. We're starting to get some really cold nights. Um, so water temps are coming down. Uh, it's not like they're going to be eating dries all day long. Okay, you can still catch plenty on the surface. Um, fish and dry dropper is a good way to start in the morning let them tell you whether they're willing to go all the way up to the top or not. Um, and then you can adjust as the day goes on. But it uh, looks like we've got, you know, some days in the 70s this week coming up. So it should be pretty awesome for the brook trout fishing. So get out there and enjoy them. As soon as we start seeing or getting reports 
that they are pairing up and nesting up, we'll let you all know. And we'll also let you know what to look for. So when you head out to your local brook trout stream, you can hopefully identify when it's time to lay off those fish, uh, let them do their thing. All right, the spring creeks, they're kind of all over the place. We, we got uh, mossies in pretty good shape. It got much needed rain. Um, it's got a little bit of color to it. Um, and uh, it, it is uh, the browns so far on Mossy Creek. We have not seen them paired up yet. Uh, so we'll be looking for that to happen too in the next couple of weeks. They're kind of on the same program as the, uh, as the brook trout. So there were some reports over this weekend of a couple of really big browns caught. Um, so same thing with the, as the brook trout. Some of those big browns are going to be eating really, really well for the next week or so leading up to the spawn. And the water levels are going to be really good. They're still eating terrestrials. Remember, it, it takes several really hard freezes before we start to lose our terrestrials. Um, if you get out there early in the morning, you may be like, I don't see any, I don't hear any. But just pay attention as the afternoon goes on and warms up. And this, the grasses dry out. And you, you'll start seeing hoppers and crickets everywhere. Um, so even if we get below freezing this weekend, um, <clears throat> we typically fish terrestrials right through Halloween uh, around here so, and, do, and do quite well with them. So those will still be uh, on the list. Um, Beaver Creek, which is a local favorite stream, it got a lot of rain. So if you look at some of our picks online this morning, um, it's chocolate milk. All right. So keep that in mind as you, um, if you decide to head out around the area uh, over the next few days, some of the streams got a really good shot. Some just got, you know, just enough to, to bump them back up. Um, and we will try and let you all know as things kind of come online. So lots of changes happening this week um, as we kind of progress further into fall. Lots of changes happening with the, uh, with the recent rains from the hurricane. So give us a call or email us. Um, like I said, as, as, the, as the days go on, we'll start to kind of figure out a little bit more. All right, that's it for, for today. Uh, as always, give us a call, email us or stop by and see us. Take care.